in my opinion, and I'm aware that that might not be very objective, a book is always a good present. Welcome back to Bold Books and Bones. In this episode, I'd like to share with you five different ways of giving a book as a present to someone that is dear to you. And if you have a great, heartwarming, exciting or just beautiful story about how you gave or received the book as a gift, then please share it in the comment section below. Just share it with the community. I'm looking forward to hear about your stories. Here are five ways to give a book as a present. The first way of giving a book as a present is the obvious and from the heart book gift. I experienced this way of receiving a book as a gift when I was preparing for the episode called Book Hunting in New York. I flew to New York to record a story and my wife and I had different flight schedules. So she arrived a couple of days earlier than me. And when I finally arrived in our hotel, she gave me this book as a present. It's called A Book Lover's Guide to New York. Very good idea, useful and a very nice present. This is like giving a Lonely Planet book about Thailand to people who want to go backpacking there. It is a kind of obvious gift because someone has told you about their plans and are excited about it. So you buy them this present. And when it is given from the heart, then of course it shows that you want to support this person in his or her dreams. And therefore, it is a beautiful way of giving a book as a present. The second way of giving a book as a present is called the surprise and from the heart book gift. Let me give you an example of this kind of book present. A good friend with whom I traveled literally all over the world during the last four years is this great guy. His name is Jan and we have a running joke between us. We try to take pictures of each other while the other one is sleeping. Anyhow, back to the story. One day we were traveling. It was late at night and we were tired and Jan and I were somewhere in China. Our flight had a delay because of a bad weather condition. We were sitting in a little van that would bring us from the waiting hall to the airplane. But because of the heavy rain, we had to wait in the van for about an hour before we could board the airplane. And while we were waiting, we were a bit chatting. And I don't remember how we suddenly got on the topic of the Yakuza, which is the name of the Japanese Mafia. And one of the many things they are famous for is their full body tattoos. Now, during the whole trip, I did not talk about the Yakuza. It was only once, while we were waiting in that little van in the rain. And we maybe talked just 10 minutes about it. And I remember that, by the way, I mentioned that there was a beautiful photo book about the Yakuza, made by a Belgian photographer who, whose name I could not even remember at that time. That's it, no more talk about this topic. Not then, not before and not afterwards. However, several months later, it was around Christmas, I got a text from Jan saying that he had a package for me and that the cliffhanger was the word fish. He always does this cliffhanger thing, which is of course very funny. A short while later, I received the package and when I opened it, I saw this. So that explained the cliffhanger of the fish. This is of course the book by the Belgian photographer Anton Kusters about the Yakuza. It is a unique and exceptional book made by this photographer who spent two years with the Yakuza after he won their trust. It has stunning pictures always accompanied with a bit of explanation. And to me, it is a great and beautiful book. So the second way of giving a book as a present or the surprise and from the heart book gift shows 
that you paid attention to someone and that you truly listen to what they say when they share their thoughts and feelings. The book that you give to this person will then of course come as a beautiful surprise. Thanks Jan, I still love the book. The third way of giving a book as a gift, I would call it the encouragement book gift. This is when you want to encourage somebody to learn a new skill or discover new insights about themselves or the situation that they are in. You maybe have a friend who wants to learn wood carving or pottery or sailing, but he or she never really took this step. And then you just buy them a beautiful book about this topic, just to encourage them to start with it. Or you have someone close to you who feels a bit lost because one of his kids is in a difficult development stage. We have all been there. Or he or she is maybe sad because they lost a loved one. Then without being patronizing and with the kindest words possible, we can then maybe give a book that could encourage them to find answers or new insights. For example, when it comes to loss and grief, I sometimes recommended this book by Elisabeth Kübler-Ross and David Kessler. It is called On Grief and Grieving. And it definitely helped me to better understand what you feel when you lose someone who is close to you. In such a case, I think that the words on the card or the words that you say that accompanies the gift are as important as the gift itself. Because they should, of course, not have the impression that we give them this book so they should sort it all out by themselves. Instead, the purpose of giving such a book is to show that you hear and that you see them and that you care. The encouragement book gift, great present. Number four is the book addict's book gift. Not easy to remember, but it is an easy category. You have, for example, this friend or family member that is crazy about books or that just loves one particular book. Then you could search for a special edition of that book. For example, I love this book very much. It is called The Prophet and it is written by the wonderful Khalil Gibran. Even if one does not know this book, there is a fair chance that you have heard someone using parts of this text during a speech when a baby is born or when there is a marriage or when someone passed away because it is a book about life. Now if you know that someone is crazy about a particular book then as I mentioned already you can look for a special edition like this one. The Khalil Gibran collection. The Prophet and his other finest writings. So if someone like me who loves the book The Prophet would receive it, I would be introduced to his other work as well. Or you could go on a book hunt by going to different second-hand bookstores or antiquarian bookstores in your neighborhood and try to find an old version of the book that your friend or family member cherishes so much. I found this copy, which is a 1945 edition of the book. And it has some notes in it, also the name of the previous owner, who was a woman, and some sentences are underlined by the previous owner. And from all that, it is obvious that this person cherished this book too. And it smells like an old book should smell. Or I found this one, also in a second-hand bookstore, which is a 1974 edition of The Lord of the Rings by Tolkien. The paper they used to print on it is so thin so that the whole story would fit in this rather small but beautiful edition. I'm sure there must be a family member or friend out there that will love this copy. So I keep it for now until I find the right person to give it to as a present. There are many things to like about second-hand bookstores and antiquarian bookstores. And one of it is that normally you do not spend 
much money to find something special. And finally, I would like to show you this one. Another perfect present for a book addict that loves this famous book. It is the incredible beautiful edition of the story called 1001 Nights. It is a bit pricey, so I did not buy it right away. But then I found it in a stock sales and I got it for half of the price. I know that the saying goes, don't judge a book by its cover. However, I don't think that is always true. So these were different kind of suggestions for your friends or family members who are book addicts or who are obsessed with a particular book. Now the fifth way to give a book is what we could call the art lover's book gift. It is also a rather easy category. If you know that a person loves a certain art style or a particular piece of art or an artist, you could of course just look for a beautiful book about it. And the good thing is that normally art books are beautifully made. So perfect for a present. I love this beautiful art book about Basquiat. My wife and I give it to our son for his birthday. Or this wonderful photo book by Annie Leibovitz. Or this one by Anton Corbijn, the photographer of Metallica U2, Depeche Mode and many others. So you just could surprise your friend or family member with a beautiful art lover book gift. I have two bonus tips for you when you want to give a book as a present. The first bonus tip is, instead of just giving the book and hoping that the other understands your intention, you could add a personal story about why you give this book. When a book becomes a gift, then a little story that describes your reason why might bring even more meaning to this already precious gift. This book, for example, I got from another dear friend. His name is Remco. And he gave me this book on a special occasion. And when I received it via mail, I found to my surprise on the first page his handwritten why story. It are beautiful words from a dear friend and that makes this book even so much more valuable to me. The second bonus tip is all about finding nice books. Now if you say, but where do I find good ideas for books? Then I think Instagram is a good place to start. I'd like to share with you three Instagrammers who influenced my book choice several times already. The first one is Custos Librorum. Because of him, I even bought a novel, which I don't often do. But he recommended it so well on Instagram, so I bought it. And I must say that this is an incredible story. The book is called Crossings, and it was written by Alex Landragin. And the story was spinning in my head for several days after I read it. You can even read the chapters in two different sequences, depending on the perspective you want to take on the story. That is just brilliant. So very good story and Custos Librorum has more cool stuff on his Instagram. The second Instagrammer is What Christmas He Reads. I really like her thoughtful book reviews. When I read her posts, it is therefore easy for me to decide if I want to buy a book or not. And the third one that I like to share is books and beers, which I find, as a Belgian, a very good combination. I always enjoy his to-the-point thoughts and opinions about a book that he has read. And he definitely treats a book like one should treat a good beer. You don't just consume it, instead you appreciate its flavor, and you enjoy it. So if you are looking for good book ideas, then I recommend to check out these three Instagrammers. I hope that you got one or two ideas out of this episode. And if you enjoyed it, then please subscribe or give a thumbs up or just leave one of your stories in the comments section. In the meanwhile, stay free and healthy and see you next time at Bold Books and Bones. Bye.